Okay, peeps, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about the FEPI ETF dividend announcement and how if you held these shares before the X dividend date, you're going to get paid even more money than you did the previous month. Let's get it. So before I show you all what the dividend payment is going to be, if you don't know what it is already, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the price. So this is the daily. As you guys can see, basically since those September, October lows, we saw the price of FEPI kind of dip. That pretty much would have been your last great dip buying opportunity there at $48. Um, basically, if you had bought FEPI at the lows here and held to the highs, of course, it's impossible to time the lows exactly. You'd be up 16%. Let's say that you, you use some TA and you decided like somewhere between this wick and this wick over here was a great time to start buying in. So you bought somewhere around $52, um, which was roughly, I would say, at the support zone, you'd still be up at roughly around 7%. So you would be in the money and you would also get paid more in dividends. Now, why are we taking a look at the price action of FEPI? Well, the main reason being is because a lot of, well, I wouldn't say a lot, but some yield max investors, you know, are worried about the price of the share of their stock going down. So I just basically wanted to emphasize here that if you had been holding FEPI from October till now, granted the stock market has been absolutely ripping and so is crypto. So that is something to keep in mind, but um, it just goes to show that when the price of the indexes goes up or the holdings that they have within their ETF, um, albeit the Magnificent Seven basically is the stock market. I mean, it's not exactly the whole stock market, but it's a decent portion of the weighting in the indexes. Then the um, price of FEPI also goes up with the market instead of you know staying flat or potentially going down. So with that being said, we're gonna take a look at the actual website here. So um, again, the ticker symbol is FEPI. They do something similar to Yieldmax, although I think they do actually own the underlying stocks here. So big tech plus writing covered calls equals high income potential. The current NAV is 5608. So you're actually paying a premium to buy these shares. But again, um, you know, if the price keeps going up, the stock market keeps going up, then it's probably just going to get more expensive. Um, that's not a guarantee, but that's just typically how it goes. So expense ratio is not too bad, less than yield max. It's 0.65%. Uh, the current number of holdings is 76, which is actually a lot. That is a lot of holdings. That's actually more holdings than we have in all of our dividend uh, stock portfolios. So uh, you can see the distribution rate here is pretty huge. It's about 25%, so that's good. So here is the payment. You would have received $1.18. Compared to the first month's distribution was $1.15, but on top of that, the price of FEPI has also gone up from November through the end of December. So basically, if we measure this, I would say from, let's just measure this from the start of November. So basically, this candle right here to where it currently is, uh, you'd be up roughly about 12%. Plus, again, you would have gotten two dividend payments, and the dividend payment on the second month would have been even higher than the first. Something else to keep in mind, um, so the dividends do get paid out of the ETF, I believe. We'll take a look at that real quick. So looks like the payment date was on uh, November 29th, so we're going to take a look at it. Uh, so I'm assuming this gap down right here is the payment, although it's actually early. That's roughly about the 23rd, so... Declaration date on the 24th. My assumption here is that they probably set aside the money early to pay investors um, as soon as they declared it because then obviously they have to pay it out. And that dropped the price. But even after the drop of the price, something to keep in mind here is you still have roughly seen about a 3.5% increase. So this is something that we definitely want to see with yield max funds. Every time they pay out a dividend, the idea here is that the price increases more than the previous dividend payment, which means the price would ultimately go up uh, long term. We are actually seeing that play out in effect with FEPI, so that's good. If you guys are looking for something that pays a high yield plus has price appreciation, um, so far it seems like this is the best pick. 
Uh, do we currently own any shares of FIPI? We do not, but we could pick some up at any time. But again, our priorities are slightly different at this point in time. We basically just want to take all of the positions that we have that pay dividends and get each of them between 20 to 30 bucks a month. If we do just that, our passive income would probably increase by, I'd say, somewhere around 400 maybe $500 a month. So anyways, with that being said, this is the uh, FEPI dividend announcement for the month of December. Uh, pretty good dividend as far as I'm concerned. Um, I know JEPI, the JP Morgan Chase Fund, is roughly about the same price as this, maybe slightly less, but it pays quite a bit less than this one does. So just something to keep in mind. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed this content. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you all later. Peace.